All right, let's just go ahead and tell the truth. It's really, truly not looking good for Donald Trump and the administration. They can't keep nobody on the cabinet. The Republicans are bickering and fighting with each other. And of course, and now Trump and John McCain is at each other's throat because McCain voted for Obamacare. He's losing. He's losing support in the GOP because the way people say it is he attacks everyone including the, the own pe his own people. And of course, you know, running the country is not like running your own business. You can't just go up there and say you're fired, um, especially to senators and congressmen who have been elected, or sometimes, shall I say, selected by either the people or the powers that be. And most of you understand what I'm saying, those of you who are informed. But, um, and then, all the media, with the exception of some alternative news media um, and Fox News, is just, I mean, I, ain't, I personally, I have never, ever seen anything like this, what's going on. And then the racism, woo, all the racism that is going on in this country. I experienced racism, believe it or not, on both sides of the fence. I experienced it with my alleged so-called own people as well as uh, those who don't look like me. Uh, I experienced racism from all different sides and have experienced it. Now, lately, <clears throat> I don't too much have much to do with racism because um, I've been slowly but surely uh, getting rid of ignorant people out of my life and out of the ministry um, because we don't need them. I mean, after all, we are here straightway as a profit and a benefit to not only the people of the United States of America, if you want to bring forth some good, strong, precious fruit in your life and live a life of peace and happiness, joy and contentment, but also around the world. And that, you know, with me, you either greatly love me or you greatly hate me and despise me. And of course, it's your choice. Like I said, you may be my enemy. Some of you out there have chosen that. Uh, but I don't have any. Now, if you choose to be my enemy, and I know it is, then I will be the best enemy that you've ever had. I promise you that. So there are people that are irrelevant in life, then there are some that are relevant. You know, you have a circle. I'm just going to use that in the spear. And close to that circle are the people who mean the most to you, those who are benefiting with you, those who favor your cause. I'm a leader. And I, I do, I pay attention constantly to people who favor my cause because my cause is of the most high and I know exactly what I'm doing uh, concerning serving the most high. Now, with that said, because of being in a position of leadership, which pales in comparison to running the country, uh, you can't run this country the way you do your own business. And people are kicking back. And people really truly need to understand the difference between power and money while money answers all things and while the love of money is the root of all evil this seem like two diametrically opposed statements you can't sit up there and think that money is going to buy you power but if you have money and power and then other people also have power don't think for one minute that you are all power because absolute power is corrupt. And it's just really, really, truly not looking good for the Trump administration. Uh, I did a video earlier taking a poll of how many people really, truly believe that Donald Trump is going to actually make it uh, four years. Because, man, I tell you, that with what's going on, and I see the way that he's constantly rocked on his heels and constantly on the defense. Rule number one, all right? If you're the man in power and in authority, you answer, you pick and choose to answer the questions you want to answer. All right? You don't sit there and get rocked on your heels. And if anything, you ask questions and then expect answers. But however, when you're in a debate, then you should meet the debate format because anytime you deviate from that debate format, you lose it. But this is not a debate. This is running America and the rest of the free world, the strongest man in the free world as far as the world goes. And it's just simply not looking good. Um, and I'll tell you the truth. 
if we don't get rid of all of those politicians out of Washington, every single one of them got to go. Every single one of them. They all boot lickers and jack legs. The, the whole outhouse need to be clean and start all over again. If we, if we don't do that, then the country, I mean, I, it's no surprise to me because I already know the country is on decline. It's just a slow, painful death. That's what it is. Only a fool tries to save a burning house. And let me tell you something. The house is burning down. So, you know, I'm not with the sentiments of a lot of people and stuff. I, I know full well what's going on in this country. And I'm not of the sentiments of a lot of people who ignorantly and passively think that their opinion is facts. And think that they really truly can comprehend everything that's going on. And is going on in this world. And they ain't even been outside of this country. Uh, to much less even know what a world perspective and point of view is. But um, it's just simply not looking good. It's simply not looking good. And I, I guess I said all that to, so you can hear my thoughts to say this again. Man, who could be the next president of the United States that will be worthy of it? Because all we got is a bunch of sellouts that has ever been president. All we got is a bunch of sellouts. I mean, who do you say? 